Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ worldwide. There's been recently a lot of talk in all circles, including Christian circles, churches, around uh, Ukraine crisis and what's happening over there. So I felt uh, obliged to give you my take on that. As I said to you, before in my previous videos and uh, what I see uh, on the headlines I will always double check it and I suggest everybody should do the same I will double check that with the spirit within me and as Christians born again Christians Holy Spirit filled Christians we should have that power that ability to do that to discern we've been told to discern the spirits, to test the spirits. We have to have that discernment. And if you don't have that, ask God and God will give you that. You need the discernment to see what's right and what's wrong. At the moment, or better to say actually, for the last decade or so, or even more than that, uh, maybe since 9-11, uh, things changed in the world. Everything changed the face of the world changed the way we do things have changed uh, not because we love to do it that way as people but because we've been told we've been uh, forced to do things differently uh, think about how you go about uh, traveling uh, flying from one country to another it wasn't like that before 9-11 uh, everything is changed now um, after this worldwide uh, pandemic um, things also has changed and things will change even um, more uh, because they want it that way not that people want it that way although there are some people who are you know not few Quite a lot of pe people have been brainwashed by the media and that is why I'm making this video. So uh, to avoid digression to other subjects, I don't want to talk about all those kind of things, uh, I need to just raise awareness that uh, if you read or see the highlights of the news, everything is about Putin's war. Putin's invasion of Ukraine Putin's uh, you know tyranny and this and that it's not even about Russia it's about Putin that just immediately interprets in my brain that they want to make make him look like an idiot like a fool like the dictator and like a, a tyrant like uh, anything that they want him to to, to look like uh, they did the same with a lot of people uh, they did the same when uh, Brexit voting was happening here in the UK they made all the people who were voting for Brexit or who were pro Brexit uh, look like that uh, on the media look like idiots and old they don't know what they're talking about and you know all the other ones that they were against it they were all nice you know educated uh, and young uh, so they they make people even the, the groups of people they want uh, look like idiots and they did the same with Trump they did the same if you go further back they did the same with uh, lots of uh, Middle Eastern leaders and uh, don't want to go into details of naming them and all that uh, you should know about them and and that is what they did they made them look like dictators whereas only a few years before that they were quite friendly with them and they were close pals with them uh, because they they just look at their interests if as soon as their interests is at risk they just do away with that person that entity that corporation that company that uh, group of people whatever uh, they, they have the control of the media 
they can sway the whole world any way they want, like they have done in the last couple of years. Uh, now, with this Ukraine crisis, uh, I don't call it Ukraine invasion uh, because I don't think it is an invasion. Uh, if you think about it, even logically, Russia uh, is a powerful state and if there was an invasion, there wouldn't be a building here and there uh, being bombed or demolished. It would be the whole country without electricity, without water, the whole country would be shut down, the whole country would be destroyed, demolished in a matter of no time. And so I am not, don't get me wrong, don't shut me down and don't close this video because if you don't understand this, you need to research your um, facts, uh, dig a bit further and find out more uh, about this because uh, I am not pro-Putin. I am totally against communism, so I, I set my cards right there, so you know where I come from. I, I, am, I am totally for freedom. I'm a freedom-loving person. I am pro-peace in the entire world. I am against any kind of war, any kind of weapons, any kind of um, violence. But I tell you this, this war is targeted and um, you'll find out why Ukraine, why Ukraine, question that. Is, there's a lot of evil, there's a lot of evil and evil centers in the Ukraine. It's also a hub of a very lively Christians in the entire Europe. What I would like you to know, what I want you to be aware of is that uh, the world has changed so much that now you can't say left against right or um, evil against good or good against evil. There is no such thing anymore. They, they are so much intermingled. The left has infiltrated the right and the right has infiltrated the left. There is so much of each side in the other side and so you can't say that anymore that West is against Russia or Russia is against West freedom democracy and all that none of that exists anymore uh, anywhere in the world uh, there's no freedom anywhere in the world not not that kind of freedom that we used to have let's say 40 years ago 50 years ago uh, it doesn't exist uh, if you look at the history and uh, you'll find out and those of you who are old enough to know you know life has changed uh, and for the worst it's not for the good Ukraine uh, the Western powers in fact have uh, established a lot of evil bases in Ukraine uh, for their own agenda uh, there are pedophile centers there, there are biological weapons facilities there uh, that have been based and used and there are other things that's going on there. It's not just as easy as saying the West is against Russia, which is not what they're saying, it's saying Putin, Putin, Putin. They want to destroy him, his uh, character assassination first of all and other things along the way. However, uh, just be wise, don't just be swayed by any news that you hear or watch. Uh, yes, uh, in any war there are casualties, there are civilian casualties, there are people who get killed for, for wrong reasons, uh, by mistake, by any other things. But the war is not what the media is telling you how it is. It's not the way it is. It's more than that. There is a lot more in that. Uh, so I would like you to do your own digging into this. Ask God to reveal the truth to you and uh, pray for it. Yes, by all means, pray for the people of God all around the world, not just in Ukraine. There are people of God, Christians, 
right here in this country, in the UK, they're suffering persecution. And um, their videos are being shut down, mine included. And, but we are suffocated and you, we, can't, we can't speak. And in fact, that now they're trying to pass a bill uh, under the name of duty of care uh, and those kind of nonsense that will give power to the social media owners, the platforms, to snuff us out even quicker and easier. There's a lot of evil uh, in the world and uh, they want this uh, to lead to a World War III and they will make that. I had already prophesied, I had already told you about a dream I had and, and the World War III will happen and there is no uh, question about that one but what, what I'm saying is uh, the reasons, the motives behind it is not what they tell you. It's not that Ukraine, uh, sorry, Russia wants to expand its territory and all that. There is no such thing. Russia doesn't even need that to expand its territory. Russia is vast enough. They have all resources in the world that they want. No sanctions in the world can hurt them. It's in fact the opposite. Uh, their sanctions, Western sanctions on Euro Russia will only hurt them. Uh, they're saying that we've sanctioned them but in fact it was Russia to begin with that sanctioned Europe by not sending their uh, gas uh, and supplying gas to them uh, which has hurt them and that is why the prices went up mainly and also other things and now they're trying to reverse the whole thing and say that is all to do with Putin Putin is a tyrant and he's a dictator and he wants to expand his territory it's none of that uh, he is attacking targeted um, places. I am not, again, I stress I'm not pro Putin. I, I don't like him. He's not my uncle. And um, I, I don't particularly like any leaders in the world because they're all part of the evil. You know, the Bible tells us the ruler of this world is Satan. And God knows that. Uh, because he stole the dominion from Adam although as Christians we can claim that dominion back and have our own dominion over the, the earth and all the creatures on the earth and in the sea and in the air but overall as powers in the world the, the rulers of the world they're all evil uh, we don't want to a blanket over old countries and say all evil but uh, this is uh, how it is by and large and uh, the Bible teaches us that God establishes all kingdoms and rulers but also he knows who they are and Jesus also picked his disciples his 12 disciples but he he knew one of them was of the devil and so is the same uh, with the kingdoms and rulers of the world if you don't believe me and if you don't believe in um, so-called conspiracy theory and I'm not part of the conspiracy theory but coincidentally maybe or uh, as it happens incidentally um, what I believe so far has been in line with the conspiracy theories as you like if you like but they're not theories yes there are some ridiculous theories out there like you know I don't want to even say that um, but majority of them when, when I check in with the spirit within me they are true and I, I, as I said before I'm not sitting here watching all the conspiracy theories and listening to them I'm not listening to any side this side or that side left or right I get my news from the Lord I read yes I read the highlights of the news once a day or something like that but the, the truth comes to me uh, via dreams and visions and by inspirations from the Lord directly I, I'm not I'm not into any kind of um, you know following any particular person or groups or organizations 
the Bible itself says in Psalm 2 I think let me see yeah it is Psalm 2 uh, verse 2 it says the kings of the earth rise up and the rulers band together against the Lord and against his anointed saying let us break their chains and throw off their shackles the one enthroned in heaven laughs so if you don't believe that there is a conspiracy and it is against the Lord and it is against the anointed one and it, it and that means it is against us all as Christians then to be honest I have nothing else to say to you go watch BBC go watch your CNN go watch whatever you want and don't listen to me anymore so unsubscribe and that's fine with me yeah I'm not I say what I want to say and I have no uh, red lines it's, I have no limits uh, my limit is the Lord and uh, I, I'm not frightened and I'm not threatened you can't threaten me uh, those of you who have been sending me stupid comments and emails uh, that doesn't scare me you can't touch me I am anointed by the Lord and the Lord is my shield and my refuge no weapon formed against me shall prosper so I would like to pray for you uh, as a Christian as a born-again Christian a child of God I ask the Lord to give you wisdom to grant you heavenly wisdom and earthly wisdom so you can fathom things of the earth and things of the heavens and so you understand the Word of God and you understand what's happening in the world we are in this world but we are not of the world but we have to understand the things of the world so we won't be fooled so they won't pull wool over our eyes like they have done in the past I ask you in Jesus name O oh Lord that you grant all your children all around the world protection from evil evildoers keep their bodies in total integrity and intact and keep them safe from any weapons that's formed against them whether they're spiritual or physical or mental or financial and give them wisdom and the power that they need and all the means that they need to have to fight this spiritual battle and win over the devil in Jesus name I ask you all this in the precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazarene Amen and Amen brothers sisters in Christ I love you if my views are against your views please understand that I am not trying to make you believe what I believe I'm not trying to change your mind I'm trying to just raise awareness and if you don't like it or if you think it's totally off go do your digging into this matter I am not happy about any war in the world I'm not I don't like any war I went and lived with my wife in the heart of Atlanta in the worst place in the most um, volatile if you like in the most uh, dangerous place in Atlanta Georgia those of you who, who live there you must know what I'm saying is right we purchased the house remotely and we didn't know what we were getting ourselves into but when we got there we realized only or not even immediately after a while we realized we were in a ghetto of uh, gangsters and and to be honest we lived there for seven months we renovated the house and we sold it and we came back uh, but while we were there we were scared of nothing uh, yes we were scared uh, but we knew nobody could harm us nothing could touch us to harm us nothing could come near us to hurt us to harm us because the Lord was with us and we had no weapons although even the police 
the local police recommended that we had to have big guns and vicious dogs. We didn't have any dogs, we didn't have any weapons, we didn't even have fences around our property, we didn't have anything. We walked around bare hands uh, and we were secure. Those we were scared of in the flesh, they turned around actually to be our helpers. Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I shall fear no evil, for the Lord is with me. His rod and his staff comforts me. God bless you and stay tuned. Goodbye.